Hello, my name is Carol Shields. I work on the Oncology Service as co-director at the Wills Eye Institute in Philadelphia. So on the Oncology Service at Wills, we deal with patients who have cancers in the eye. There are many different types of cancers that someone can manifest within the eye. But the most common cancer that we see in children is called retinoblastoma. This is a cancer that presents very quietly. The child has no pain, the child has no complaints, and plays happily without any problem until one day a parent might notice that the eye has a yellow glow to it. That's a sign of retinoblastoma. So the good news is this cancer is not that common. In the United States, we may see it in about 200 or 300 children. The bad news is it can threaten vision, lead to blindness, and it can also lead to death of the child. So this is a very serious cancer. Two different types of retinoblastoma, this cancer. One type is inherited and has a bad gene that's passed on from a parent to a child. The other type carries no bad gene. The type that has the bad gene needs to be evaluated by a geneticist. We have a wonderful ocular genetic service here at Wills Eye Institute that can assist in detecting the gene mutation that led to the development of this cancer. So what should a parent do if they suspect their child has a problem, a problem as serious as retinoblastoma? Well, the first thing to do is to see your local pediatrician or your local ophthalmologist. They, the, the ophthalmologist can put eye drops in the eye to dilate the eyes and to look into the back of the eye. And they can see if there is or is not a cancer in the eye. If they find a cancer in the eye, then there's three or four major centers in the United States that deal with retinoblastoma. And Will's Eye is one of these major centers. And the child will be sent to one of these centers to have treatment. They often ask, how are you going to treat this cancer? How do you get back into the eye to treat this cancer? Well, we have various different ways to treat retinoblastoma. One way is we give chemotherapy. Chemotherapy through the vein to kill the cancer in the eye. In other ways, we can give chemotherapy through an artery to kill the cancer in the eye. A third way is to give radiation. And in some cases, unfortunately, it's necessary to remove the eye to save the child's life. The good news is, in the United States, this cancer is detected early. And most, children's ha most children have their lives saved. And to top it off, from the developments here at Will's Eye Institute, with the use of chemotherapy, most children have their eyes saved. It is so reassuring to be an oncologist in this era of management for retinoblastoma because not only do we save the life of a child, we can save the eye of a child and even give them good vision.